understanding cryptocurrencies. Whether it's enthusiasm about investing in digital currencies, authorities want to track earnings, or countries dealing with how to recognize it as legal cash. Not a week goes by without a cryptocurrency story in the headlines. There have also been reports of extreme price changes in cryptocurrency scams and investors losing large quantities of money. Because cryptocurrency's value isn't related to any external measure and isn't recognized as legal tender, it's prone to volatility. This means that a variety of external factors such as media releases and celebrity investors might influence the price. You might be aware what to make of cryptocurrencies and whether it belongs in your investment portfolio. Even the most basic concept can be daunting if you're unfamiliar with digital currency or blockchain technology. If you're interested in dipping a virtual toe into the water, here's everything you need to know. Hello and welcome to our channel. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified whenever a new video is released like this. Let's dive right into it. Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency. You've undoubtedly heard of Bitcoin more than anything else in the crypto world. Bitcoin was the first product of the first blockchain, which was created by an unknown entity known as Satoshi Nakamoto. In 2008, Satoshi Nakamoto introduced Bitcoin as a pure peer-to-peer -peer form of electric money. Although Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency, various attempts to establish digital money had been made years before Bitcoin. Mining is the process of creating cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin. Mining Bitcoins, unlike mining ore, requires strong computers to solve complex issues. Until 2011, Bitcoin was the sole cryptocurrency. Then, as Bitcoin aficionados began to see false, they decided to build alternative coins, often known as altcoins, to improve the design of Bitcoin in areas such as speed, security, privacy, and more. One of the first cryptocurrencies, Litecoin, aimed to be the silver to Bitcoin's gold. However, there are currently over 1,600 cryptocurrencies accessible, with the numbers projected to grow in the future. What exactly is cryptocurrency, and how does it work? Cryptocurrency is a type of decentralized digital currency. Many investors are interested in cryptocurrency since it can be used to purchase and sell items and store grow value. Today, there are thousands of different cryptocurrencies. The most popular and the first is Bitcoin, which was launched in 2009. Three more popular cryptocurrencies are Ethereum, XRP, and Bitcoin Cash. Each of these currencies has a distinct function, with some designed to be used in place of cash and others for private direct transactions. Since cryptocurrencies are entirely digital, they are not linked to any real currency or bill. Instead, owners keep their cryptocurrency in a virtual wallet and trade them on the internet. Your wallet could be stored online. Some major exchanges such as Coinbase have in-app wallets or offline on a physical device comparable to a USB drive. The main premise of cryptocurrency is decentralization. Unlike traditional currencies, which are backed by a central bank, the US dollar, for example, is backed by the US government's full faith and credit. Cryptocurrencies are maintained and valued by their users. A decentralized ledger records cryptocurrency transactions. A blockchain is the name for this ledger. Every time someone buys or sells cryptocurrency, the transaction is recorded on the blockchain, which is a public database of all transactions that other cryptocurrency holders may access. The blockchain is open to everybody, but the data on individual transactions and the people involved is encrypted. The basis for this term, cryptocurrency. For each transaction uploaded to the blockchain, a digital validation technique validates and prevents fraud. Cryptocurrencies are created and secured using cryptographic techniques that are maintained and confirmed through the mining process, in which transactions are processed and certified by a network of computers or specialized hardware like Application Specified Integrated Circuits ASICS. As a result of this activity, the network's miners get compensated with cryptocurrency. You might be thinking, how can I use cryptocurrency? While cryptocurrency has elements of both currency and investments, experts disagree over whether it is one or the other. As the name indicates, cryptocurrency may be used to make purchases. However, your purchasing power is restricted because cryptocurrency is still not generally recognized by merchants and other companies. Crypto is a sort of alternative investment for many individuals. You may purchase and trade cryptocurrencies in the same way that you can buy and trade stocks in public corporations in the hopes that it will appreciate over time. This will allow you to cash out for a profit. Some individuals invest in cryptocurrencies because they trust in the blockchain technology that supports them rather than because they hope that it will become a popular currency. But defining cryptocurrency as an investment is also difficult. 
While cryptocurrencies have qualities with commodities like gold, they may be purchased and sold for cash as well as derivatives based on predicted future value. They don't exactly fit the pattern of a typical stock or bond. Since there's no clear track record to determine long-term worth, cryptocurrency rises and falls on an uncertain demand cycle. Individual investors face a similar difficulty since you never know where supply and demand will end up. Ali Agadaz explains, There are considerable hazards connected with a completely unregulated market similar to forex, foreign currency, trading, and your best chance is to get informed before investing any money you can't afford to lose. Cryptocurrencies are still being classified by regulators for trading, payments, anti-fraud, taxes, and other purposes. Clear legislation might help us comprehend how to utilize cryptocurrencies and where they might go in the future. But we aren't there yet. Is crypto safe? The decentralized and public nature of a distributed ledger technology, as well as the encryption process that every transaction goes through, makes the blockchain technology that supports cryptocurrencies inherently secure. However, this does not imply that it is completely secure in the same way that the majority of people perceive the US dollar or other established currencies. Bitcoin lacks the same safeguards as many traditional currencies throughout the world because it is not backed by any government. Consumers should be aware of unique hazards, such as unpredictable currency rates, potentially large fees on exchange platforms, and the possibility of fraud. It can be exceedingly difficult to recoup your currency if it is lost or stolen due to the decentralized nature of blockchain and the lack of governmental control. Additionally, just because Bitcoin is secure does not mean it is safe. While investors' trust in cryptocurrency's value has fueled part of its current popularity, such value is still dependent on guesswork. Investing in cryptocurrency is one of the riskiest investments one can make. Any investment you make should be properly weighed by the rest of your portfolio and the general market. Just like you wouldn't pull all your money into one company, you shouldn't put all your money into crypto. So what does cryptocurrency's future hold? The value of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies has risen dramatically in recent years. Bitcoin's value has more than quadrupled since 2021, while Ethereum's has more than doubled. However, it needs to be seen whether this rise is sustainable and what it means in the long run. Despite this, a rising number of huge, powerful players recognize the potential of cryptocurrency. Finally, the future of cryptocurrencies, including their value, security, and longevity, remains uncertain. However, the experts that we spoke with feel that possessing some cryptocurrency will increase in value over time. Experts emphasize the necessity of understanding the particular volatility and risk characteristics of cryptocurrencies before investing, regardless of your purpose or interest. I believe it is critical to keep your eyes open. Don't develop FOMO when you're sick because it's highly volatile. No one should invest money they can't afford to lose, and I give that advice to anyone considering any type of investment. So in this brief video, you learned about cryptocurrency. What are your thoughts on cryptocurrency? Do you think cryptocurrency is a good investment? Investing in crypto assets is risky, but also potentially and extremely profitable. Welcome to the cryptocurrency world. I'll see you in the next video.